Hello everyone, it's Heath with the Music Technology Teacher Network, www.mutechteachernet.com. In this video, I'm going to share two instruments with you made by a company called Novation. These instruments are the Launchpad Mini and the Launchpad X. I started this series about MIDI and MIDI instruments earlier this summer, and it's taken me until the end of the summer to make this video about the launch pads because, well, I've had to learn how to use these instruments myself. Any of you that know me or any of my work know that I'm not a techie person. I spent 20 years as a high school and then a middle school band director. My training and my background is what we all consider to be as a classical musician. When it comes to the techie stuff, I really try to explain things in an easy to understand language for music teachers because, well, I think from the point of view of a classically trained music teacher. When I dig into some new techie stuff, I have lots of questions and I mess up a lot of stuff. I'm definitely a, tr a trial and error learner. What I try to do with my webpage and with these videos is to get all of those errors out of the way first and to find the answers to those questions that I run into and then bring that to you. And hopefully that saves you some time and, and energy in learning about some of these new things in the tech world so that you can spend your energy actually getting ready to teach students. I hope these videos uh, are very helpful to all of my colleagues out there. And if they are, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe to the video channel. And then please go tell your other uh, colleagues about this if you think that might be helpful to them. So. Let's get started by taking a look at what these launch pads can do in your music technology lab. The first one we're going to work with is the Launchpad Mini, which is the smallest uh, in the Launchpad line. Now, just to give you a little background, the Launchpad was originally designed and marketed to work specifically with the Ableton DAW software, and it is great to work with Ableton. But the thing about this device is, is that ultimately at its core, it just is a MIDI device. It sends MIDI signals, which means it can actually be used with any app or program or DAW that accepts MIDI signals. So as an example, I just want to give you, um, show you a little bit about what it can do first, and then we'll go back and dig into how to set it up and some of the options that you have. So. So let's first take a look at how we can use the mini launch pad in GarageBand. Now, once you have your mini launch pad hooked up to your computer, if you go to GarageBand and click on preferences and then select audio MIDI. In GarageBand, you do not have to set the launch pad up, the mini launch pad up as a MIDI device because, because it sends MIDI information, GarageBand sort of is automatically going to find it and accept that input. So with GarageBand, the Launchpad really is just plug and play. Uh, with these keys, and I have a MIDI track selected and I'm just using a classic electric piano sound, but so the Launchpad uh, by default, what I have it set up on right now is as a chromatic keyboard. And so I can record melodies uh, directly into uh, GarageBand. Let's see if we can turn the metronome on and let's get recording. And just like that, you can see that I've recorded this directly into GarageBand. Now I can use um, all of my tools in the DAW to uh, quantize this, get it set up nice. And if I go back and listen to it, So there you go. You can use the launch pad for MIDI input in GarageBand. Now let's take a look at the online DAW soundtrack. 
Once you get into Soundtrap, you may want to go into Settings and check your MIDI settings. And for the device, you can see it shows up as Launchpad Mini, uh, DAW Out, or MIDI Out. I'm going to select MIDI Out. And here's the thing. We're going to select this as an output, even though it may say that you're not getting a signal. But we're actually going to be using this device as an input. So now here in Soundtrap, I've gone ahead and set this up. Uh, and entered my melody uh, in the Wonder League track, and then I've added a second track. And so now I'm going to record harmony using the Launchpad Mini. And now you can see that I have entered chords. So you can enter your MIDI data with the Launchpad Mini either melodically or you can enter chords as well. So fully functional MIDI controller. And again, the Launchpad can be used with any software or app that will take MIDI input. So even notation software such as the NoteFlight cloud-based notation software or the flat I.O software will take MIDI input. So just by pressing a key, it will pick up the octave and you can and enter notation uh, using your launch pad as a MIDI input uh, for your software. You can even use that to enter chords, multiple notes at the same time. So yeah, it's extremely versatile and can be used for a lot of different situations, whether it's notation or whether you're entering into a DAW. So there you go, a quick overview of the Launchpad Mini and how you can use that in GarageBand, how you can use it with Soundtrap, or you could use it with a notation software such as NoteFly. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. And again, I would surely appreciate it if you would subscribe and if you found this helpful, please tell your colleagues about it and share my channel with them or my website, www.mutechteachernet.com. And I hope you'll stay for the next episode where I'm actually going to break down some of the other capabilities of the Launchpad Mini, how you get that set up and how you implement that into your classroom. So in the meantime, I hope you all have had a great summer and that you're looking forward to having a wonderful school year teaching students how to create music.